Hey, welcome back to this video. This is episode 11 where I'm going to focus on the plumbing, uh, but we'll also provide a brief overview of where I'm at on the interior progress. So but if you're new to this channel and new to this build series, I'd encourage you to go back and look at uh, videos 1 through 10, uh, all the things that have gotten us to this point now. Uh, there will be various things on the electrical, on the awning, the window install, the insulation, all those sorts of things. I'll put a playlist in the comments, but right now, uh, let's uh, open up the doors and see where we're at. All right, good afternoon. Yeah. So, let me show you where we're at. Uh, I'm going to show you um, where I'm at on the plumbing here. Obviously, I've got a lot of the, the plumbing is done uh, in terms of the hookups, uh, and uh, I've pressure tested it, and I'll, I'll tell you why I did that in a moment. But let me just show you where we're at. Uh, if you remember the city water inputs that I put in very early in the game here when I was doing stuff on the outside, um, what I got here is basically a two inch, uh, I think it's a two or three inch vinyl hose. Uh, and then uh, connection, so that comes in from the city water, uh, you know, gravity feed, this is the uh, city water feed, comes down, this also is my outside uh, shower, so it's all connected, comes down, I got a valve where I can turn it on or off, it really doesn't matter, I just don't like to have that let's on when I'm on my pump because somebody could come by when I'm not there and drain all my water, uh, so I can shut that off, if it's on the city water and they do it, I'm not too concerned about it, they're not going to run the city dry, um, but in any case, uh, this is the pump, this is a 15 gallon uh, tank it's hooked up to. I put some water in so I can pressure test it. Hooked up to the pump, to the accumulator. This is a little C-Flow pump. Uh, it seems to be nice so far, it's sitting on this little pedestal here. Uh, so it's got rubber mounts. But you can see the cold water, I got a master shut off right there. And I do that in case I have a problem on that side out with a leak, I can still use my outside shower and get water from the tank that way. So it's just a, a way to do that. Uh, anyway, so this is what it looks like. This is the 15 gallon tank. It will sit under the bed. That's where it's going to be. I just got to fasten it down. I still have to put a uh, the bottom right corner there. I got a little fitting that goes on. I got to put a drain hose so I can drain the tank. Uh, that's the shower fixture that I pre previously had hooked up. I hooked everything up and what I did was I turned the water on make sure I had no leaks for two days. So you can see up here where the, uh, the uh, um, hot water tank is going to go. I can get my camera to pan up there. There we go. Yeah, I just got it bypassed. I, I didn't want to heck the hot water heater up yet, so I bypassed it. So it did check all the plumbing out. Look down here, hot water comes on around, makes a 90 degree turn. These were the fittings I was most concerned about. Uh, once I build the shower up, they will be enclosed, and if they leak, I'm just going to be uh, out of luck. I have to rip it all apart or figure something else out to bypass everything. But the bottom line is, I wanted to test those two, those four fittings down there. I didn't have any leaks at all, so that was all good, but they'll come up here and then the shower will hook on there. So I'll show you how the shower is going to be built in here later, but this, the purpose of this is just to kind of show you the raw plumbing. And I've got the, uh, I'll open it up from here, let me pull the cabinet open. You can see I got the PEX up to the uh, sink, and I've got the HEPFO filter back to this uh, hose, flexible hose that goes out and that will be part of the drain. So that's the hookup onto the sink. So really kind of a simple plumbing system. The biggest concern is the, the fittings that will not be visible after I close up for any leaks. And uh, so, so here it is, half inch PEX. I use the crimp fittings. And uh, you know, I've had good luck with those things as long as you get a good seat on the crimp and everything and, and do it right. Uh, but this is it, this is how you hook it up. Any questions, leave down in the comments below. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any of those. But. So next up here is I'm gonna I'll come back to you. I'm gonna go ahead and build the uh, the floor in for the shower, get the holding tank up under there, and get everything hooked up. And I'll give you a look when it's all hooked up. But this is just kind of the raw plumbing, ready to go. All right, well, we're outside now. Let me show you where we're at. I've actually done quite a bit since I showed you the bit on the plumbing. Um, yeah, if you look, I've got the uh, sides all painted up. I've got the uh, cabinets made. I'll give you a quick look at those real quick, and then I'll bring you up to date on the plumbing. But I did get the uh, I did get the molding in up here and stuff. I still got a little bit more work to do, uh, but you can kind of see how it looks. Um, you know, it's uh, looks pretty good. Got this. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you this before, but the little computer desk that comes down there. I got the couch set in here just for a fit check. Uh, this is the couch and bed. It folds into a bed real simple. Um, but in any case. Uh, and I got the shelves in. Gonna go with shelves and baskets. Gonna show you this angle here. 
I got all the wiring done on, on the switches and stuff. And uh, got a little bit more trim work to do. But anyway, back to the plumbing. Uh, I'll show you kind of where I'm at. In the last video, I just I had everything out of here. I'm just showing you what I was doing to wire up, uh, to uh, plumb up all this stuff. But this is where the plumbing resides. It's underneath the couch. So you come under here, you can see the uh, water tank. And uh, I got the uh, city water connection. Um, I got the outside shower hookup with all the valves. I think I showed you all the valves and stuff before. I did power all, I mean, I did uh, put the pump on, do this thing, do a full pressure check. So everything's there, okay? And uh, I don't have the holding tank, and I'll show you that later. It's, it's just really not too hard to put in. The plumbing that's underneath here will drop right in. But this is a, uh, I don't have it connected. I have it set in there because I got it, I'm just doing a fit check with all the pipes that I have in. But I have the flex hoses back in there for the gas and everything ready to go on. This is the uh, water heater. And uh, it will vent up through the roof, four and a half inch vent. I've got one fit for it. This just is a little cover for the pipes that go down underneath this platform here. And uh, you see the toilet sits on. I got a platform there. The plumbing comes under the shower from the drain. Uh, and uh, if you see the shower in here, I got to put FRP on this stuff and uh, water seal and all that, but I got it in. So that's what the shower looks like in there. And you'll have that width in the front. And uh, toilet sits there, so it's kind of a step up to the toilet, which makes that nice. Plumbing's under there, drops right into the holding tank. So, uh, yeah. So up here, uh, this is the plumbing going into the shower. Um, now, what I did was I used a, a compression, uh, a compression fitting uh, to the PEX, so I could use a six uh, six inch flex hose on the back side of this thing. I did that because it's easier to hook up. You can see I got this stood off from the wall, so I'll be able to lean that out to the service the valve if I need to. You see, I got this cut. FRP will cover that up. You won't see that. But if I ever need to service the hoses or whatever, I can take a razor and cut that and just make a decorative panel and put on there. That's really it. That's the uh, plumbing's all hooked up. Not a lot of plumbing in here. Uh, I do have the sink all hooked up as well. Uh, this right here is going to connect to a three gallon fresh water bottle underneath uh, for drinking water. But I got all the plumbing hooked up under here. And uh, packs coming in to the valves. And then up to the sink, got the HEPFO up there. The black hose goes around underneath the shower and it'll drop in the tank right underneath the toilet. So anyway, that's kind of uh, that's kind of what it looks like now. So the plumbing's really done. I, I, like I said, I just gotta hook up uh, hook up that hot water heater exhaust and uh, and uh, panel this bathroom and seal everything up really well. I do have a vent fan to put in the ceiling as well, so I'm gonna get that done. And uh, but anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. So I got the bookcases done. I, I got some blind, uh, some curtains coming. Got to put curtains in. I've got some laminate floor that I got to put down, and some uh, baseboards, things like that. But it's starting to shape up. I, I probably got about another week's worth of work to do. Mostly finished work, other than getting those uh, exhaust stack in for the hot water heater and that fan in the roof. That's the biggest job, cutting those holes and sealing all that up. But you can see, I still got some um, some switches to put in this wall here, and I got to put the uh, the casing along the roof there. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to cut this video off. I'd like to thank you for watching again. And uh, please like and subscribe. I will probably be doing one to two more videos. Definitely do a, a follow-up video uh, when I have uh, everything done, a walkthrough. I'm planning on hitting the road with this thing in about two weeks. So it will be done. And uh, I'll do a video uh, before I take off. Uh, just about a seven-minute video on the whole trailer, just an overview. But this is kind of what it's looking like. So I'm going to cut this video off. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.